Hey, what's up guys? So, I'm finally back, and yay, I feel much, much better than last week. So, yeah, as you guys know, I was uh, sick last week. Uh, I had, like, like a strep throat or sore throat, and then uh, I caught, like, a semi-feverish. Uh, it wasn't, like, a major fever. It was just, like, a minor, which is, like, uh, like a stuffy nose, and then I got cold when it's, like, a really, really hot day, so... It was like very cold for me, so yeah, that's like my daily, not not daily, but that's my um, sickness, uh, what's sickness something, I don't know. Anyway, so uh, anyways, I'm back with, bleh, I'm gonna start that over. So I'm back with more, with, uh, I have a lisp, also I'm back with uh, more Starhawk. And, uh, yeah, so today I'm doing some, uh, or actually not today, but last week I did some Starhawk gameplay. Um, I have two videos I'm going to be uploading from Starhawk. Um, one, one is, one is this one right here, which I'm playing Assault. Um, I actually played, uh, both rounds. Uh, this game was pretty competitive. Uh, it was actually pretty fun, uh, pretty relaxing. And just, like, I don't know, it's just, I don't, for some reason I found, I kind of enjoyed the assault uh, mode for some reason mainly just because uh there's no hawk in the air that does a little skydive cluster bomb crap you know so maybe that's why but anyways uh yeah so and then the second game or the second uh video of starhawk that i'm gonna be uploading will be a shout out video to all my facebook friends uh youtube friends ps3 friends pretty much everybody uh, if you want a shout out for me, uh, be sure to leave a comment below saying you want a shout out for me, or uh, yeah, just mention yourself in the comment. Um, if you like it, I'm, I w won't really know who liked my video because <laughs> it's not Facebook, you know. So uh, yeah, if you want a shout out, make sure to leave your name or make sure to leave something in the comment below so I can you know mention you guys. Uh, so yeah, so. Last week, uh, the only things I've been recording was pretty much uh, Borderlands, um, and you know, as you guys know, I finally beat the game in the normal mode, and then um, uh, and then I beat it in true Vault Hunter, which was pretty intense, and then uh, right after, I found some videos on like um, I was doing like you know research about this you know B shield and the the conference call which is the like shotgun and I was wondering I'm like what's so special about these two you know and the conference shotgun is one of the legendary weapons is a uh, legendary shotgun that and I get a random text message I apologize so yeah it's a random uh, what is it it's a legendary shotgun that is dropped by the warrior I believe if I'm pretty sure that's the only way you can receive the uh, conference call um there's only there's actually more than one conference call i actually got the reactive conference call from one of my friends um he actually duped it for me instead of uh me getting it because it actually took me a while trying to get it and i farmed the warrior like you know i wouldn't say a billion times but like uh, many times and i had no no luck and then i didn't have the b shield as well so it made my um my runs more uh, more time consuming because uh, with the B shield you can take it you can take down the warrior within like like you know less than a minute and if you guys haven't you know seen my seen my uh, borderlands videos as you saw or yeah you'll see me using the B and the conference call and if you saw my video you guys can tell that that I can take out I can take down the warrior in less than three seconds like tops um, if um, if I'm not like uh, doing like critical hits or anything it's probably like you know uh, less than you know a minute like tops because uh, once you do like once you like unload all your like all your 10 um, Your 10 ammo then you have to reload and then you have to like shoot him again Which is like you know he pops out e either in the back like either on the right or left side and then you can finish him off and then uh, wait for a little bit and then um, Have him spawn in the center because uh, he has to like either reset the um, I don't know what that thing's called like but like in the game Whenever he dies way too fast, it takes a while because he needs to like, um, like load something or reset something. I don't really know what that concept's called, but yeah, it, it took him a while, like at least like 20 to 30 seconds for him to respawn because 
I like took him out in like less than you know three five seconds, you know. So yeah, and the 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 conference shotgun is not the OP. It's not really OP. It's the um, B that's pretty much OP. And I would I think it is OP, but I think um, Gearbox put that in for a reason because. Um, there's only two bosses in, or there's not two bosses, but the two main bosses that, actually I wouldn't really say that, but anyways, yeah, there's the two main bosses that are, I don't know, but the main boss that they have was, is the Terramorphous, and that's like one of the hardest bosses in the game, um, and with the B, you can actually take him down in like, you know, less than a minute at most. Um, I, I still have to do a gameplay of that, so I'll upload that uh, eventually this week. Uh, once I, you know, get caught up with school and work, because I've been ill. <laughs> but yeah, and... But I, wouldn't, but I wouldn't really say that the B is cheap, or nor the shotgun. It's actually a pretty good combo, and with the B... If you had the B just by itself, the B actually makes all your weapons like more powerful than without it, or if that makes sense, I don't know. Because the B shield does um, 50,000 more towards the towards your gun. Like I don't know. I, I really have no idea how the math goes for that. Even though I'm Asian, you expect me to be doing calculations, but honestly, I don't feel like doing math. Math is hurting my head right now. <laughs> But, yeah, so, um, it's semi-OP, it is OP maybe, but I don't know, I, I like it, I think it's, uh, it, I don't really think it ruined the game, uh, but in some people's opinions it did, so, you know, it's my opinion, I, I, I like it, cause it's, it makes farming way more easier, and, um, and I think, to be honest, uh, for the B and the, um, or no, for the coffers call to be like put to good use, it's only mainly I'm assuming it's mainly used against the warrior and Terramorphous or you know other boss fights like the bunker or I forgot who the other boss bosses are, but mainly the bosses because um, if you ever use the like the well, for, I have bad luck with the coffers call whenever I use it. Um, to kill like other enemies, they manage to like take down my shield, and then you know, without the without your shield being at like full capacity, you don't do the like the OP damage pretty much. So that's why I have bad luck with it. But yeah, so I I, I kind of I do like the B and the gun. So uh, hopefully they might not nerf it. Maybe they will, but to make it not as OP. But who knows? We'll see by. Uh, maybe the next DLC or so, you know? And, yeah, that's pretty much about what I did last week, was just doing all Borderlands, farming. Um, I was pretty much farming the B and the, the conference call, but luckily, my friends were cool enough to dupe the B and the, yeah, dupe the B and the conference call for me, so, uh, big shout out to my friend Rag, who, uh, duped the, uh, what was it, the conference call for me, and then another big shout out to my friend Dragon Slayer who uh, got the level 50 B because he had a level 47, which you saw in one of my videos, which which uh, I used uh, one of these shotguns. It's a casual ravage or something ravage or something. It's one of the shotguns. It did like 150 K per damage, which was pretty powerful. And then with the B, like with a level 50 B, that could be like maybe three shots, three to five shots to kill the um, the warrior or the Terramorphous maybe, I don't know. But yeah, and then um, he got, I guess, or no, hold up. He had the four, level 47B and then he duped that for me, so which was pretty cool. And then all of a sudden he got a level 50 just like on his like first try or so against that one radio guy and uh, I forgot what place it's called, but uh, you guys know where to farm the bee, it's in that one area. I don't really, <laughs> I don't really remember, but, yeah, so, um, big shout out to you, Dragon Slayer, and big shout out to, um, uh, Rag, my friend, to dupe, for duping the, uh, conference call for me. So, yeah, and, uh, also, big, big, big shout out <laughs> to my friend, 
uh, Daniel, a aka Connect, who actually boosted me to level 50. <laughs> and yes, guys, I actually did boost. Um, not saying that I didn't enjoy the game, it's just because I actually wanted to uh, level up my character kind of fast because... Um, now I know some some of you guys might say, "Oh, you ruin your you ruin yourself by you know just boosting yourself and not playing the game legitimately and blah blah blah." Now honestly, there's actually two sides to this. Some people actually wanted to boost to level 50 just to see like what they can like power up or what um, like skill points they can try out with, and you know that's that you can do that. That's what what some people would want to do, and then some other people like my friend uh, the Epic Mar one. He actually played through normal mode and uh, Vault Hunter mode, it like by himself without like you know being cheap and without boosting, which is you know I I respect that because he enjoyed the game at the fullest and um, I still enjoy the game at the fullest, but I just want to see my my character at level 50, so that's my point of view for the uh, boosting. Some people might dislike it, but you know I I believe there's two sides to it, so yeah. So yeah, this. Uh, so yeah, doing some Star Hawk. Uh, so what about this game? You know, I, I'm actually li liking the new DLCs and the new modes. Um, the next um, video, I think I already said that, but yeah, the next video will be a Team Deathmatch video, which was pretty epic. Um, it's actually going to be 40 minutes long, so it's... And that's why I'm... I'm going to make it a shout out video because I'm going to be doing a lot of shout outs to a lot of my friends and I it won't take up the whole video but it probably take out take take on or take off or take something take on um at least half an hour or maybe less so yeah as you, as I mentioned uh be sure if you guys want me to give you guys a shout out uh be sure to leave a comment saying you want a shout out for me and then I'll get back to you at that as soon as possible um, I'm still working on it and so if you guys want this chance make sure to comment below and make sure to let me know that you want you want a shout out for me so yeah and I'm trying to think what else do I have to say before I go um, I miss doing commentaries I'm not gonna lie um, I don't know why I thought I'd be bored of doing commentaries but for some reason I just kind of miss doing commentaries regardless if I like have nothing to say or if I get bored or if I have just nothing to say I just have I just have to you know keep it going and keep you guys entertained or keep you guys interested so yeah so, and then also I, f I keep jumping around subjects like jumping from this this and this and also I'm actually enjoying I already said this but I am enjoying the DLC more um, I've been trying to find um, find a good game in uh, the mode gatekeeper right I believe yeah gatekeeper but not many people are on that. Their mo their majority of them are pretty much are either doing zones, uh, capture the flag, some te team deathmatch, some assault, but majority is uh, CTF and zones because that's like the most popular uh, mode in in like Starhawk or in the Warhawk series or whatever. And I'm liking this you know offensive defensive type, which is pretty cool. Um, as you guys saw, I was playing the defense at first, which was pretty, um, pretty epic. It was just like playing, um, I forgot this one PC game, it was on addi addi addictivegames.com. Um, it's like, you defend, like, the, your base is pretty much a castle, and you just gotta protect it for like, uh, until the time runs out, and, you know, you gotta do your best at keeping the enemies out, and right here, as you see, I literally fail at killing this one guy, like, literally. Even though I have the Grizzly, and, yeah, I, I really failed. Oh, and also, I figured out why they call the Grizzlies. I guess my one of my subscribers told me it was because it, re ref it referred to a bear, and I seriously don't see it, but honestly, that's a pretty sick name, the Grizzly Mech, or Grizzly Rig, or whatever. It's a pretty sick uh, concept, and also I saw some concept art on the on um, I think my friend uh, Gremlin Clown. Um, if you guys haven't checked this channel, he has some really cool Starhawk uh, channels. You guys should, uh, channel, <laughs> cool Starhawk um, videos. You guys should go check them out. 
Uh, I'll put his link somewhere in this video or probably in the in the description below. So make sure to check him out and make sure to, sus to subscribe him too. Uh, so yeah. And then also after the defensive or yeah the defensive gameplay you do the assault or the offensive not assault which is <laughs> yeah you do the you do the offensive which is you know you go capture uh, the base and as you guys know I'm not the uh, I'm not the base capture because uh, it's like you know one person trying to cap a base it's not it's not like Call of Duty you know Call of Duty can pretty much play domination and you know try to go 1v6 I mean it's possible but this is you know beyond Call of Duty this is more different this is a third person shooter it, it, and it relies more on strategy and more thinking and yeah so yeah I'm not the as you guys know I'm not the offensive type I am but not like a tryhard ish type like I don't just go all the way to the base and just cap it by myself I have to actually need a team and like collaborate with them and uh, I think they had mics or I didn't have mics so I didn't really uh, talk to them so it was kind of hard for me to uh, get my point across the objective so either we have to like you know improvise or just assume what we what our roles are and you know as you guys saw I put a outpost near the spawn or somewhere around the base and so did one of my other teams on in front of me so 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 we can um, actually spawn closer to the base instead of far because then we have a more better chance of, um, of uh, what, what are we doing or oh, capping the the base or yeah capping the base we have a more better chance at capturing the base that's that's my that's what I was trying to say ah man I'm just I'm just missing commentary for some reason but anyway, so yeah, we actually won this round by like a hair, I believe, or not a hair, but like we won because uh, um, we all of our teams pretty much just like rushed it. And uh, what are we doing? Yeah, we pretty much rushed it. Uh, rushed, rushed it. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, my shoutout video will be probably done sometime this week, but um, I'll probably postpone it a little bit depending on how many people want to want to have a shout out for me so uh, it depends really so if there's no one that wants a shout out then I'll probably get it done this week but if there's some people or a lot of people who want to shout then I'm gonna have it done by next week or this weekend ish so yeah keep that in mind guys and yeah so this is Asian kid and I'm finally back I'm feeling better and thanks to all the people or thanks to all the people that uh, wished me uh, get better get well or whatever I'm not I wasn't dying or anything but it was actually I appreciate for you know you guys caring it's, it means a lot to me but anyways this is the Asian kid and I will see you guys next time right so peace
I need to get out of the house. I have 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 to get out